data is what it is, and we have to make the uh, decisions with the, everybody's best interest in mind. After a big spike in COVID-19 case numbers in Vigo County, the school corporation is taking a serious look at how to protect their students and staff. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. Beginning tomorrow, Vigo County high schoolers are going back to the AB schedule. School leaders say it just makes sense right now. News 10 Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom. In your top story tonight, she has more from the corporation about why this move is the safest. Patrice Rondrell, Vigo County had a quick taste of normalcy, but now because of what happens outside of school grounds, the three traditional high schools are taking some steps back. As the days get colder and shorter, the COVID-19 positivity rate climbs. You know, nobody likes this. Now, because of the rise in cases in Vigo County, the Vigo County School Corporation is making changes again. Unfortunately, it's our high school students that will feel it. Starting Thursday, students at Terre Haute North, South, and West Vigo will go back to an A-B schedule, exactly like how they started the school year. Bill Riley is director of communications for the corporation. He says more and more students and staff are being put into quarantine and it isn't helpful. It's so disruptive to our children's education that um, unfortunately an AB schedule would be less disruptive. Riley says lowering the number of people in the building at one time can slow the spread and help with contact tracing. But he says it's not the route they wanted to take. I think it's sad. Uh, our community spread has gotten to a point now where um, contact tracing uh, is revealing that these, these social events on the weekends and at night outside of school, it's now causing a problem inside of our school. Now, Riley says they will not look at going back full time in person in high school until after winter break. He says there is still the possibility they will have to go full remote if cases continue to rise. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you.